Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is a new mod map tour of Renabu. This is by Ola Haldor. This is 486.34 megabytes to download for PC and Mac only as of right now. Um, I completely apologize, I missed this map. This actually came out on the 14th. I just noticed on the mod up because I went and checked today and I saw that there was another map and looked over at the map screen and realized I hadn't even done it. So I don't even know how I missed this, but this is an absolutely incredible map. So um, this is very cool. We are in New Farm Road. This is where we start off here. I'm going to go ahead and start by reading the description as I typically would do um, on a, a map tour. So we're going to go from there. It says, The lush valley of Renabu is inviting and encouraged all sorts of work, arable land, animal husbandry, and forestry. The map is based on a small part of the real world location, um, Renabu in Norway. The farms and farm buildings are real, placed at their real location. The playable area is eight by eight kilometers. All production points and sub points are at their real world location with only a couple changes for better gameplay. The animal dealer is non-existent in real life, but made sense to make use of this building as it is located at a central spot in the map. The bridge close to the animal dealer is about twice as wide um, than the real bridge to make it possible to cross with larger and wider equipment. The bakery is not a bakery per se, it has a stone oven uh, which is for rent by the community, especially busy before holidays. So there you go, very cool. Most of the buildings are placeables, um, and with color selection, you'll be able to mix and match as you build your own farm on an empty lot. This is the first version of the map with enough to get started and enjoy the scenery. In future updates, there will be new buildings. On the map, you'll find 143 marked fields, 28 forestry sites. The river flowing through the valley can be used to refill water. Uh, no collectibles yet. Uh, productions available are, oops, sorry, uh, Samo Carpenter, Grain Mill Bakery, um, and then plan production in the future are dairy spinnery and tailor shop. Uh, the rest of the production types are not added to the map uh, by default because there's no natural location for them as they do not exist um, in real life. Where am I at here? I lost my spot. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay. The map is your sandbox. You can buy your own production site if you want to grow other crops. What is found in the area? Selling stations are the animal dealer, grocery store, grain mill, sawmill, and carpenter. Uh, the seasonal growth plan has been adjusted to closer follow the region in real life. The map requires the mod buildings in Norway. So there's a buildings in Norway mod that's required also by Ola Haldor. Um, that's where all the buildings are kind of associated with. So I have that installed obviously as well. But this is where we're at, starting off in new farmer mode. Um, in new farmer mode, you own field 102, 103. This chunk of land up here where you got a tractor and then this chunk of land right here. And I believe that's everything for that. Um, there's, you can't access all of this. You can access some of these chunks obviously up here where there's a lot going on. So you can't access all of this here. This is kind of off the map, which is a little different than what we've normally seen in maps. Normally we see the ability to be able to access the whole area, but this is huge as it is um, to the point that we are probably just gonna fly over the map quite honestly. Um, and I did do an early access look at this when it was on FS19 before it's even come out. Ola Haldor has been working on this for a long time and has done a really good job on it. So well done. Um, this is a really cool, really well detailed map. So it's very cool, very, very cool. Okay. Seasonal growth, there it is, a little adjusted as you can see in there. If we go down here, we can scroll through all of these just so you can see where they will get uh, taken at or what cell points they'll get taken at. As we go down, again, there's placeable cell points. So if there's one that, one crop type or one product type that's not being uh, bought anywhere, you can always add in a cell point to take it, which is pretty sweet. You drink a coffee there, there we go. And there's stones at the very bottom. So there you go. We have a few pieces of starting equipment which we'll look at in the store here in a second. Um, in new farm mode, you start with $100,000 in no starting loan. You have a, a cow barn, sheep barn, and a horse barn um, to start off. There are contracts in the fields you do not own. And again, your one production chain that you start off with is going to be uh, basically just a silage facility that makes grass and a silage for you, which is pretty cool. And again, no collectibles yet is what was said so i mean this does indicate there would be but i bet they're not on there yet um but yeah there you go okay so hop up to the map this is our starting area and this kind of area through here so what we're going to do um oh gosh let's look around this area real quick while we're here we got our shop right here which is where we kind of start out at just a little building a little pear shop in here nothing crazy there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of extreme detail in this so as you look around, you'll find a lot of good stuff. Over here, we got a fuel point and electric charging station as well, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, past that, I actually think, let me think here, how long is it gonna would it take us to run up this road? Not too long, maybe. We'll just kind of chill up here. You can kind of get a good view of all the scene. I mean, this is a beautiful map. It's such a cool map, such a cool map to see. But as you can see, it is a huge map. We're just running and running. Nice little place blurry there. We we're just running and running and we have made it that far. So we're probably not gonna even want to run that. We'll go down here to the 
uh, the animal dealer and then the uh, bakery. Oop, there we go. The animal dealer and the bakery. Let's go back up to the maps so that on there. Okay, then souls are just right around the corner. Now again, I could speed up our running a little bit, but we'd just be zooming at the speed of light at that point. So right over here, these buildings, we got the animal dealer and the bakery in here. So this is our bakery point. 50 grand to buy that. Animal dealer over here. Boom. And I believe there's also a sell point here. Kind of looks like it. Potentially. This guy right here, sell point. But anyhow. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll we'll go ahead and actually just hop over here. Um, I want to take a look at what's up here, actually. So we got our little electric tractor out here. Good to go with our forestry equipment out here to pick up some logs and do some of that, which is cool. You got that kind of starting out as if you've been working up here. So it looks like that. And again, you can take that road out and down and back over to your farm. There's not like a direct way down. This is the farm itself. We again have horses here, eight horses. Main roads right here. Um, let's take a look at our starting equipment before we get too carried away here. In our garage, um, under small tractors, we have a John Deere 6120M. We have a Ridgey Track SKE 50 electric. We also have a John Deere 7810. We have a Schaefer 23E front loader. We do have a pickup truck. We have a couple trailers, Walger DK115s. We have a small cultivator, small cedar, small slurry tank, small mower, small tedder, a uh, small windrower. We have a forage wagon. We have a baler. Is that a baler wrapper? Just a baler, right? Yes, it's a baler, I'm pretty sure. There's a wrapper. There we go. Um, we have our little log trailer there. Front loader attachment. Um, we have round bale fork, pallet fork, and bale spike. We also got a John Deere pickup 900 weight. And then winter equipment, we do have a plow, which is kind of nice, actually. So I'm um, looking around here. We do have our cow barn right here. Yep, 200 cows right there. A lot of equipment, a little slurry tank here. You got your stuff, again, parked out over here. Kind of like that. Actually, very common, like, uh, in the U.S. to have a lot of the stuff outside for whatever. It'll depend on where you're at, I guess I should say. And right here, we have our sheep barn. And again, you got some different stuff to start you off. Some seeds and stuff. I'm not sure what that, uh... Oh, that's like a little indicator for the door. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Up here. Oop. That's our, this is our production point for making the grass and the silage. And we do have some actual bales up here of hay. That's super cool. Well, I don't want to fall in there. <laughs> that's awesome. Some more equipment parked there. Nice little compact shed. This repair trigger. It sure is. Repair trigger there for you. More shed space over here. Yep. More equipment. Kind of a nice place player over here. Now, like, see, I see this, and it makes me wonder if, like, it was supposed to have something placed in here or not. But I do have, I mean, I have the mod it required installed, so I'm not sure why it would do anything weird. But there you go, and you got your house. We actually may do a little bit of a drive around on this. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the map. So we're here. We've taken a look at that. We'll hit this stuff in a flyover because that's very far out. We might just drive up 700 over to this area here and then kind of take that as a drive area. And then uh, from there, we'll probably just fly over it. Because, I mean, again, this map is absolutely huge. I think I spent like two hours on a live stream looking at this thing or something crazy like that. Like, it was a lot. I mean, there's a lot to see. Oh, geez. Well, it's going to be hard to see if we keep doing stuff like that. Uh, this field in the left field 44 is huge. It does not look, if you look at the map, that field, I mean, it looks large, but not that large. It, that is a huge field on the left-hand side with some grass in it. All right, we'll head down this way. Yeah, see our beautiful little starting farm there. Got some nice signage here. Just beautiful terrain. Let's get it uh, closer to midday here. It's a little, a little bit quick there, but there we go. A little bit closer to midday, so it's a little bit brighter out. Just a sheer rock face there. I love it. Oop, I'm hitting things now. There we go. Twenty six and twenty five there. Fields there. See, that's like that's a little tiny field there on the left hand side with some power poles going through it. But still cool if it's like actually there. A lot of good looking buildings on this map. Probably get around this car here. Ooh, I say that. Gotta get back on the road and not try to roll it again. There's just so much space. I mean, it doesn't seem like you look at this map and see how it looks like it's a pretty tight or compact map, but it's absolutely enormous. This is one I actually really want to do a series on at some point. I did not know this was going to come out this early, otherwise I would have been right on it. But this is, I mean, 
this map is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is absolutely fantastic. There's plenty of place player and stuff like that, and I'll probably wait for uh, Ola to get it uh, where he wants it to be. Because obviously he's still working on it. He just put it out so that way some people can get on here and start doing their thing. But there is so much cool stuff going on on this map, which is super cool to see. And see, it took us that long. We're now finally showing up. We've been driving for a while. And that was just driving from here up to here. I mean, that was a long time. We haven't driven anywhere down there, but that was a long time to get up to here. But if we zoom in, we have the Joker cell point, electric charging station, the cross wave, a gas station, and we have the Renabu Carpentry. That's right up over there on the right-hand side. So you can see it up there. Pretty cool. Um, let's, let's pull the truck off the side of the road here. Let's go ahead and hop out of the truck. And then let's do a flyover of this place. This is pretty cool. This is amazing through here. Look at this scenery. This is just unbelievable. This is probably one of the best uh, best detailed map. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? That is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. That's amazing. You got this little like uh, kind of stream that heads up into the mountains. You got lots of area for forestry up through here. Again, you can use a lot of this stuff through here. Can we actually access some of this? Some of this you can't even... Looks like you can drive out to it. It's just not purchasable yet. So much space. All right, I gotta go a little lower to the ground probably. We gotta fly. I wish it would like actually go faster going down and up. Um, that's the only frustrating thing about using... Uh, yeah, that's how fast you can go right there. Okay, there we go. So we're down here towards the bottom. Just want to take a look at some of the stuff. That river looks, and the fact that it flows like that, it does look really legit, which is super cool. That is just beautiful. I love that. That looks fantastic. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. I'm just flying around aimlessly because it's such a cool, I'm just in awe. We'll head down this way. We'll take a look at what we got going on over here. And then we'll loop up this way past the charging station and stuff like this. Take a look at the debris crusher, debris crusher is up there. And then we'll take a look at the sawmill out at the very end of the map. So we'll kind of fly around on this kind of path over here. Just to kind of give us a nice kind of overview of the map. We can see our starting farm off in the distance there. There's so much space. There's so much space. Is that this is a debris crusher here? Yeah, there's a debris crusher there as well. And then there's the grain mill cell point right down there. That heads up there. Lots of space. We've got a bit of a traffic jam right here. I'm not sure what's going on there. You got a little bit of a traffic jam. It's all right. You can see just the terrain changes. It's just incredible. You could go on just an absolute adventure on this. And right over there, that's where we got our animal dealer and our bakery. You can see the stores right up over there, but we're going to keep going along this way. This way right here. Got stores. Stores can be just right over there. Right across over, yeah, right where we're pointing at. And this is 102, 103. You start off owning these. And if you wanted to, I mean, you can sell these for 167 if you wanted to get, like, I don't know, that one right there, get one closer, you know, something like that. That's one, you get that for the 167 and net a little bit of profit. This continues out this way. Again, lots of big expanses of space in here. Just super cool. Got a lot of farm. Oh, it's going to save us up here real quick. Lots of farms, lots of good space in there. You can do it, computer. I believe in you. It's taking a long time to save. Oh, gosh, this is the longest I've ever seen something take to save. And there it goes. I had to put a little cut in there. That took forever to save. So just an FYI on that. But it's because the map is massive. So that's that's why it takes so long to save. Uh, up over here, so maybe just turn auto save off. But debris crusher is on the left hand side. Right up over here, debris crusher one, debris crusher two. Pretty sweet. Up over here, it's trying to render everything in for me. Um, yeah, up, yeah, even further up here, we got our sawmill. Sawmill right here, and then again, we have an electric charging station out here, so you can use a lot of electric equipment on this map if you wanted to. But this map is incredible. Beautiful map. Um, one last thing I actually kind of want to take a look at is up out here. So I might loop out around this way. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. As you can see, we're, I'm trying to gain some elevation, but it's just so high up out here. There we go. And you can see it crosses through here, so you have this huge expanse of space. And eventually, I'm sure that he'll potentially fill in the map more, but who knows? I mean, this has a lot of potential. 
Yeah, this is incredible. All the space up here. Just some wild terrain up here. Just some wild terrain. This out here is outside the map. Through here. Yeah, and you got that road that goes out that way. Waterfalls and stuff heading down through here. Just a beautiful map. Well done, Ola. I mean, I know you've been working hard on this thing for a long time. This thing is absolutely incredible. So that is well done. But I don't want to spoil the rest of it for you guys. That's, I mean, you guys have seen the gist of it. I think that'll give you enough to decide if you want to play on it or not, which I mean, you should because this thing's incredible. I know the fields are odd shaped, but this like feels like a real world environment because, well, obviously it's based off of one, which is super cool. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.